in the day before 3 p.m. And then it will be dry and warmer this weekend with highs back in the 90s on Sunday. The sun is trying to come up. This is our coolest part of the day right now. We're starting off around 60 degrees. You're looking live at the city of Ames. The winds right now are out of the south at around 7. And we do have temperatures in the 50s in between Hampton, Marshalltown. Perry, you are the coolest starting off at 56 degrees this morning. It will be heating up fast throughout the afternoon with highs climbing into the mid to upper 80s. These numbers are about 10 degrees warmer than yesterday, but 10 degrees above average for this time of the year. And then here comes a cold front tomorrow. It's a weak one, but it will trigger some rain and bring us a change in temperatures. But before noon on Friday, we'll climb into the 80s. You'll feel it first in northwest Iowa, and then we'll all cool down Friday night. It will be beautiful Saturday morning and then the heat and humidity returns once again. Today, the winds will be strongest throughout the afternoon, right around 3, 4 o'clock with wind gusts, close to 30 to even 40 miles per hour along the northern border of the state. It doesn't look as windy tomorrow. The satellite and the radar composite continues to look quiet with very few clouds and no rain. We do have a cold front, though, that will be sweeping through, and I'm hoping it will bring us some rain. There is a chance for thunderstorms right here late tonight. It's a low risk. Let me walk you through the timing. Three o'clock this afternoon, you want the sunglasses. You'll be out on the motorcycle, convertible, loving life. It is going to be warm. It will cool down slightly tonight. And then tomorrow, in comes that cold front. This is rainfall around the city of Des Moines and Ames during the morning commute. More rainfall to the west. The cold front moves through and it leaves us with some clouds. A few isolated thunderstorms throughout the afternoon. But during the kickoff of many football games right around 7 o'clock, it looks dry and comfortable. On Saturday, we'll start off with a few clouds, but we'll finish with lots of sunshine. And on Sunday, remember, it does look windy and warmer. I wanted to give you some idea of the rainfall totals. It doesn't look like a lot. Less than a tenth of an inch will be possible. On Sunday is when we'll heat up, and on Monday, it still looks warm and dry. It's Monday night into Tuesday that a stronger cold front comes through, and that should bring us rain and some cooler air by the first day of fall. Today, 88 for the high. Remember, it is still summer, so dress cool cool for school. The winds will be strong throughout the afternoon. 66 tonight with a mostly clear sky and tomorrow highs will start off in the 80s and will finish in the 60s. We're going to see most of the rain early in the day before 3 p.m. on Saturday 86 on Sunday 91 on Monday 89 scattered showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday and the first day of fall looks beautiful with highs in the mid 70s. That's usually what you think of when you think of September as 70s, but today will be close to 90 and it will be